Hello everybody, welcome back for some more God Hand. Today we're going to do more God Hand. Uh, I think we're getting close to heading to Shannon herself. I think we still have, like, technically a, a carnival party to go through. Oh yeah, that's right. That slicer, long range, kung fu samba. I've already gotten a new move already. i already gotten a new roulette move, so I'm probably okay for them right now. And looks like, yeah, we're out of those. We can buy more techniques. Pimp smack. Straight two. Long straight. Right hook. Pay up. Uh, spinning back fist. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. So mock speed jabs. If I remember correctly, like, they're like a whole, you know, plethora of jabs. I don't remember how good they were, though. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Is it that one? Oh shit, that'd be so fucking cool to have. So basically, yeah, Charge Punch 2 pretty much just does more damage. So I'll probably buy these, if anything. Because we might as well just get the upgraded versions of Guard Breaker slash. You know. Sorry, these things are just in my fucking way and I'm tired of seeing them. Uh, where is it? There it is. And then charge punch two. Wait, did I unlock? Hold on. Is there another kick I can probably add that hasn't been... If there's like low kick, I can probably do... I have an idea. What if we make this one knee strike and then into low kick? Would that work? Would that be okay? Could always do step back kick as a finisher. Uh, no, because I don't like step back kick. Hang on. What if I do reverse sweep? Into low kick. What if we go from jabs to low kick? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I'll have to try it out, I guess. It's kind of slow. I mean, the it, I think it's really just the knee that's slow. I don't like the knee. It's kind of slow. So, we'll go for a punch. And we got left hooks, so it'd probably be better just to do a, a left-handed punch. Although, maybe that might actually be better. I don't know. The only, the only way to really test it out is to... It's okay. Eh, it'd probably be okay for now. If we need to change it up, we'll change it up again. So, let's head into the next area. Um, this might be... Okay, no, let's... Back out here. Although, of course, we can't go back. Well, now we got the... Yeah, we got the new key, so we can go through the new door. The one we couldn't go through before, yeah. Now we got these jackasses. These jack-offs. Really? Okay, you know what? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. You know what I could do? I can always just equip a Guard Breaker in the combo. I'm gonna get fucking wrecked. I'm not careful. Probably, I forgot how much of a jackass these guys actually are. Uh, bad idea, I know. The thing is, like, when you trip them up like that, like, you kind of want to have a move that can knock them back in the air, but I don't have that, so. That's where the whole point of the kick kind of gets destroyed, I guess. Am I going to save it again? Okay, why not? Why not? Uh, that was a new area, I guess. Oh, here we go. This might be what I'm thinking of. It might actually be the main circus area. Wait, no. no that's right. It's just the actual dogs. The, the chihuahuas. The puppies. Look at the puppies. Aren't they so cute? They are really cute, though. I will say that. Of course, one of them, you know, the purple one from earlier is like the poison one or whatever. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, I think you can... I don't 
think that you can throw it, you know, and then have a dog fetch. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, what's funny is, growing up, I've always been a cat person because we've always owned cats. We've had, like, a dog once, ever. And, uh, my dad, you know, he had dogs. He had a lot of fucking animals. But... Nothing to do about it, huh? <laughs> I guess he's just stuck. All right. But anyway, like, you know, the dogs that he had were cute and all. Um, and it got me to respect dogs more, I guess you could say, or like them more. But over the years, I ended up becoming more of like a... Well, oh, I don't have a bird. I don't have any pets, but I kind of became more of a bird enjoyer. I kind of watch... I, I like watching bird videos for some reason. I think they're just incredibly cute. And Mainly like Kaiks, I think they're really adorable. They're funny. Yeah, look at. Why does she look all jaggedy for on the port? And even like Jean sometimes looks like it. I know it's a PS2 game, and I know they upscale. Or they probably try to upscale it, but sometimes it looks fine. Sometimes it doesn't. Looks like this dog can be trained. Every time I get to this, well, every time I get to that one section, I think in Ape Escape, that needs training is you. Ape Escape 1 has that carnival section. It reminds me of this area. Here we go. I remember her being kind of tough, though. Or at least middle of the, middle of the way tough. Like, I'm sure there's probably something I can do to beat her ass a little bit easier. Possibly. If I'm lucky enough, I can probably get her to... Yep. Just what I was hoping for. Might as well just throw shit at her, because, I mean, let's be honest. It's effective. And the best part about throwing shit is Gene will just aim in directly. I'm about to get fucking killed! Yeah. And that's the problem with Ball Buster. She's only getting enraged, not because she got kicked in the crotch, but because, you know, she's in the air. And that was gonna kill. Oh, no, that just turned me into a dog. And what's kind of cool is, like, even when you turn into a dog, Gene has that symbol, that skull thing from his, you know, his jacket on the back of it, which is pretty neat. Okay, so she probably was a lot harder than I remember. Just do chain. And the video down a couple times. Get a few hits in there. Because moves like these, they can't really break out of. Which is very helpful. Come on, put your guard up. Shit. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna activate God Hand because she's like close to the, the wall. No, stop! It's... It's not back... It's not dodge back triangle. It's literally just... You know, back, uh... The other one. I should probably do this on her. When I'm in God Hand. Come on. I also need health. Yeah, this was definitely like... Yeah... I mean, I know, like, Ape Escape 1, you know, had, like, a level that was, of course, based on the carnival section, but still. Oh, yeah. I forgot that once you come in here, I think she locks you in. And then I gotta deal with these fucking pricks. So. I have an idea. I don't want to use it. But honestly, I'm gonna have to. Because... Let's be honest. <laughs> it's the only way to get out of this fucking joint. I'm gonna go grab health. I'm gonna try to play it a little bit smart here. I don't want to use this, but honestly... 
it's probably the only thing that's going to be effective enough for me. I wanted to save these for, you know, boss lady, but... I, I mean, I could save at least one. And I guess... I could try to build up God Hand by myself. Which I probably should have done, actually. Just probably kept the other chick alive. I mean, I could probably... There we go. Yeah, I could probably build up God Hand with this. Yep. Nice try, dickbag. I like how I've effectively gotten just at least a bit better at the game. Oh. Are you actually fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> like, are you actually fucking kidding me right now with this shit? I mean, these guys, at least the red ones are not... Uh, I, I know, they're technically harder than the regular versions, technically, but... They still have at least some easiness to them. Even if a little bit. Also, I don't know why the God Hand doesn't just completely deplete, like, fully whenever you are using the... Well, using it. There we go, I actually broke his guard. Perfect! Awesome. The good news is... It's gonna be her ass. Be her ass in the quote retweets. What the fuck? There's no way that did that much fucking damage. Let's go on the other side here so I can maybe possibly get some health. I do not want to get hit by that because that would fucking hurt. Alright, if I'm lucky... Nah, that's not going to do enough damage. Also, another thing with this side hitting thing is... Oh, fuck me, dude! The thing with that sidekick thing is, uh... When you're using it, you want to... Well, obviously, you know, you gotta be careful. I don't know what I'm trying to explain there, but... You want to obviously let the thing kind of... You know, do the full attack. I'm surprised I didn't get stuck in there. There we go. Nice. Sorry, I'm kind of, like, concentrating right now. It's kind of cool how she's got, like, that Magical Girl vibe going on, though. I like Magical Girl stuff, so... Good Good news is, whenever she's doing that shit, she can at least be sprint attacked out of it. I think a strawberry spawns in that room anyway, no matter what you do. I should probably just throw these at her and not waste them. Yeah, but... Come on. That thing's gonna follow me, I know it. At least you can see that stuff on the map, which is very nice. Alright, that's... Not exactly what I need, but... Uh, yep. I'm basically dead again. Yeah, she's gonna be a tough cookie to, to crack. She's only the stage 3 boss, too, which is insane to think about. Let's say that fool got hand, though. Oh, yeah, there is a strawberry just in there normally. Normally. Why did I say that so weird? I don't know. I do things weird all the time. Yeah, dodge back all you want. It's not going to really help much. Yeah, I might as well go for pummels because you build up more god hand meter. And on top of that, you do at least a decent bit of damage. So I think that's kind of the trick with her is you want to do a lot of pummel stuff. And get her in a position where she can't do those attacks. Also, goddamn, my thumb is hurt like a motherfucker. It's funny because like my thumb was hurting a lot 
when I was playing Slave Zero. Well, Slave Zero X, specifically. Because there's a lot of, you know, mashing in that game. Alright, well. There's some decent damage on Earth. I probably could have gone for the pummeling, but it's fine. You know what? I think I kind of have her figured out. If you stay close to her, she's going to do this shit, which is nice. Also, uh, the thing with that move is I think she can do it for a long time. Of course, it'll, it'll, it'll telegraph when she's going to, you know, stop doing it, so. And that's why having, like, multiple techniques is very useful. Get the shockwave. Yeah, I should probably just fucking run in that room and go fight those assholes, I guess. I mean, in all honesty, I don't want to do it, but I'm probably going to have to. Like, if I want stuff... To hell with these guys. I mean, d d just to fuck with them. Also, I think um, this move here can technically hit two enemies at once. Yeah, please don't drop it. Demon, don't don't spawn one, please. Okay, at least I can handle one person at a time, which is nice. Did you know me? I can barely handle two. I could have sworn it was just neutral trying to do that. Maybe they had to be stunned for that to work. I don't know. I'll have to look that up actually, because now I'm curious. All right. Hopefully, um, <coughs> sorry. Hopefully, Shannon will follow me in this room. That'd be nice. If she does, I'd make it a lot easier. Eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, whatever. Whether or not she follows me or not doesn't really matter at all. Alright. Go. I know I could be using better moves there, but this is just going to have to work. I'd rather her just do that explosion move, you know. I can't tell what she's going to do next. Oh, there we go. See, those ones were at least easy to dodge. For some reason, that one does a lot of damage. I think the reason why is because they just... It, they expect you to be able to, you know... To telegraph it and know. Oh, I hate that shit. Ah! Uh, and yeah, you can't really press buttons because... Well... You're in dog form, can't really do much. Ah, damn! What are you, a fucking JoJo villain? <laughs> At this point, yeah, basically. I mean, I guess she could probably work as one, maybe. Good. That's exactly what we fucking need. That's exactly what we needed. And she's down. And out for the count. Get out of here, Edelgard. Edelgard wannabe. Nice. See, her fight in all technicality is not hard. I just made it harder than it should have been. I know. I always seem to exceed women's expectations. <laughs> certainly exceeded mine. Ah, yes. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Do you think... Okay. Just being honest. Next time, you won't be disappointed. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I think you had to fight her again. Being a butt? being truly honest about this, I feel like Gene is the same. He's like in the same way as Dante from Don't May Cry, where they just don't fuck. Like, there's no way Gene has ever had sex. Like, I feel like he's just virgin incarnate. You failed us as well. I mean, you know, don't talk to I guess that makes two of us. Does that mean I get some cool fucking powers and I get to be a cool, you know, you just have to let me badass? What I've started. We want him 
alive. I'll do it. Oh yeah. Shut up, human. He's technically the stage four boss. I'm pretty sure. He's where I'm at right now, so I believe he's actually next. Just let me make that man my <sighs> Unless we fight her in the middle of stage four. I'm going to try Dr. I don't think so. You're going to use a cheap tin can for this? If Dr. Ion can capture the God Hand, he can take your place in the Four Devas. If you replace me with that stupid toy, these meetings won't go any smoother. <laughs> Sometimes I think all we do is hold these ridiculous meetings. Pitiful. I'm gonna you know what's funny? He just fucking screams. Capcom character. Or... In this regard, Clover character for sure. Like, he absolutely, for a fucking fact, just gives me that vibe of, yeah, this guy's definitely made by the Platinum Games people. Like, there's just no fucking way he's not. I mean, the hair doesn't really help much. I don't think it looks that good, but... The Kilo Crab. Okay, so yeah, that it saves on the last level. Okay. Um, it, it's the outfit. It's, it's the outfit design. I think it looks pretty funny. Imagine this was No More Heroes, you get to save your game by taking a dump. Uh oh. And I always find it weird that... And I think it's mostly Japanese games that do it. I, I think it's probably just a way for them to... Maybe possibly like translate without actually physically translating something, but I feel like Japanese games have a lot of that where they they sh they, they show the character doing the action of the thing they're talking about, but it seems kind of off-putting and weird. I forgot about this fucker. That? Holy shit! I forgot about this. I'm not gonna lie, I really did. Oh wait, I think I remember the inside of it though. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I remember this now. Okay. I just don't remember the giant robot part of it, that's all. <laughs> I remember like back then I used to think these characters looked a lot like Mortal Kombat characters like Katana and Jade specifically. You know, color scheme wise, especially because, uh, you know, blue green. And just kind of the more skimpier outfits, I guess, kind of make it feel that way, too. Also, not only 100% sure, but didn't Fist and Tower come out before, like, Mad Max and stuff? Or is that not? Technically. I don't know. Oh, bullshit. I was fucking doing, like, a jump kick on her, too. See, that time, I think I held up and... Triangle. And this... This lady here reminds me of uh, that Dominatrix chick from Beast of Butthead. Like the er yeah, you know what I'm talking about the early Dominatrix chick, the Miss whatever her name was. Like early Beast of Butthead shit, like season one, season two shit. Back when Beast of Butthead was not what it was, not what it became. Yeah, you get all mad all you want. Yeah, it is like four triangle. I think it's like tap four triangle. Ah, damn. I remember, um... It was either on hard or it was on normal. I can't remember. I could have sworn, like, I used to struggle with this level. A lot. I mean, I definitely know for a fact that I still haven't beaten it on hard. So there's that. I know I keep repeating myself all the time about this, but... It's not that I'm trying to make it known that, like, Oh, yeah, I played on hard. It's just more so, like... You know, this is where I left off. Well, I mean, I left off on the boss fight. Which we probably won't get to fight in this episode, though. But it depends on how short it is. But if I remember correctly, I think the inside section is what really fucking sucks. Mm. I'll save. I'll save it every time in case. Cause like, what if I, what if I'm taking too long to get through this one part, right? 
what if I take too long to get through this one part? And then it's like, well, I might as well use the save and we'll just come back and try to. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, the robot guys. Oh! Even has like the electric ring, wrestling ring, too. Yeah, I've heard this. Yeah, it's all kind of come back to me now. Drop something, please. Okay. Yeah, they're all robots. Honestly, I'm better. better off just doing this. There's a specific kick that I want to get, but I either have to find it or have to... Oh, my fucking god. This is why you keep your god hand on, folks. This is why you keep it! Okay, when you're in groups of enemies, you're better off keeping your god hand and just wiping them out one by one. Or two. Uh, that way, just in case, something like that happens. Where all of a sudden, a random you know, demon will spawn. And, uh, yeah, you don't want that. I don't remember if Suplex gives you, like, any good bar or not. I don't think it really does. I already technically have full bar. Oh my god hand anyway, but, you know. Shit. Just get out of here. Just skedaddle. Nope. Whoa! Okay, he dropped his shit. Good. Yeah, but another fucking turd picked it up. Oh, yeah, I guess they blow up, too. That's another thing I guess I forgot about. That's not good. God damn. Yes, nice. Very good. And one of them is definitely going to fucking spawn a demon very soon. There's just no doubt in my mind. Oh, come on! That's fucking horseshit! That is such fucking horseshit, man. That's why you don't... Yeah, you don't ever want to get distracted in a game like this. You really don't. I guess one of their guardians, they're gonna be more open to... the jump lows. Fuck it. As long as it gets them out of the way, I don't care. And, yeah. Look, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. We all know it was gonna come at some point. It's just a matter of when. Not why or, or how. Only when. Not if. Yeah, that's that's another thing about throwing uh, objects, though, is when you throw them, of course, it's going to deplete the entire weapon itself, but it will usually do, like, max damage. Oh, my God. You guys have to fucking come out at the wrong fucking time. Can't you guys ever just fuck off? Because I'm kind of busy with another client at the moment. Just pretend like this is orc massage and just leave me alone and let me, you know, do my things with my first client and not fuck with you dumb assholes. Alright, where did, where did fucking, you know, Jack 2 go? <sighs> I've seen a lot of things about Jack 8 having that really shitty... I don't really play Jack, by the way, for anybody that wonders. I, it's not that I don't like Jack. Uh, I like him in 8. I think he's kind of cool. I like him in most games, anyway. Most Tekkens. But seeing that, like, fucking dive thing that he can do now, or... I don't remember having that, to be honest, but yeah, seeing that he can do that. And just being the most bullshit thing, where you can't tell if it's, like, a low or a mid. It's kind of funny. It's kind of bullshit. Yeah, see, I even, again, like I said, even if I stop doing it, Gene will continue doing it until... You know, until you pretty much can't... I think those guys, those other guys, I think they spawn after you finish off at least the first wave. Okay, I guess it's once you finish off at least enough of them. It's not really a wave thing, but... Alright, now would probably be a good time to waste it on this fucking jackass. No, the other jackass.
Let's just do La Bamba, because why not? At least get, you know, a couple of them out of the way. Let's go for that other guy, because he's got a weapon on him. And I don't want that to be in his hands. Because I want this to be up his ass. Alright, you know what? Now you can do all you want, buddy. You can do whatever you want, buddy. You can do whatever the fuck you want, because you're not going to stop my ass. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just so tired of fighting these dill holes. Now, in terms of saving those guys, I have no idea. Yeah. The thing is about this game, though, is even though it's, you know, quite funny and bright and colorful, it, it can still be pretty dark in a lot of spots, you know? Getting his arm chopped off, beheading that one guy. I don't know why they didn't show it, but... That's just say kissing a hot yeah, did kissing a hot chick. <laughs> okay, whatever. I mean, I guess they are hot because you know they're gonna blow up. Get away from her, you fucking ass muncher. Wait, do I have to actually throw stuff? No, he ain't aiming in. That's the problem. Is that it? Or do I still have more to go? Yeah, I still got more to go. What is this? Fucking Dead Space 1? Okay, at least they blow up in one hit, though. And you got plenty of these things to go around. Come on! Get across the fucking bridge. Oh, my lord. How many more of these guys do I have to deal with? Could be too much more, right? That's gotta be it. It is. Nice. Well, I saved her ass, so that's good. Still kind of wish you could put these things down without having to actually throw them. Oh, wow, okay. Did that only just give me full god hand meter, though? I was kind of hoping for some health drops. I mean, I'll take it, you know, that's fine. Besides, you know, Gene gets a kiss on the... gets a little peck on the cheek. He probably doesn't get that very often. At least not from Olivia. You know, basically the girl she's practically protecting. He's practically protecting at this point. I think she'd be a little bit nicer. Now, on, I mean, to be fair, like, in all honesty, them being not romant romantically involved, I think, makes it better. In my opinion. Like, not every fucking guy-girl character duo has to be romantically involved. I'm not saying that, like, you can't do that. I'm just saying that, in my opinion, you know, them being kind of like a brother-sister nice. feel to it. At least now, you know, they feel like it now. I don't remember if that changes in the future. I don't think so. But them being kind of more like, you know, fucking with each other, I think is a lot more interesting and funnier. In my opinion, of course. It's not that I'm against romance and games, you know, because my wife's in the other room, and oh man, you know, romance and games, that's something I can't do because that's weird. Also, we get to fight the Minotaur guy again. Yep, we get to fight these three. I remember this room specifically because of that certain, like, obstacles around the room that you can see. Do you guys really want to do this? I think, if anything, I'm going to go for Mr. Green first. At least do some damage against him. Now I kind of want that. Let me see here. Well, do we'll, yeah, they're all, like all three lined up. We might as well throw it, I guess. And boom. That did some nice damage. The thing is, that sucks about this fight, though, is of course you gotta fight them all three together. Which I'm sure you probably are pretty well aware of right now. It's not good. The thing is with Mr. Minotaur guy, though, he's in theory a bit easier to kind of deal with because... He has this thing where he'll... Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. 
where he can run into objects and be stuck in them. And I think most of her nuts kind of just fucks off sometimes, which also kind of helps a bit. Can I fucking have some goddamn health? I'm gonna fucking get murdered here. All right, so we need to think this one through. I got really lucky at first getting wild pitch, but I need to I need to think about this one because all right. In all honesty, it doesn't really matter who I go for first, I guess. Fuck it. And that should put him in a... Yep. Good. Exactly what I needed. Yeah, see the... The, the leader, you know, Miss Red over there. I forgot that. I forgot Minotaur guy was blue, I guess. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably tell, but I'm trying to go for... I'm trying to go for the one. There, got health. Uh, Alright. We'll go for it. We'll go for wild pitch again. And then I'll pick up the red and see if that helps me out. Hope that puts him his ass in there. Come on. They never give me what I want. <laughs> did I get something new? I could have sworn that I did. Fuck it. Knock his ass out of the park, I guess. We'll go for... Yeah, fuck it. We'll go for Ball Buster, I guess. Why not? Because this way I can at least build up some more God Hand Meter. I should have done that. I should have just done Ball Buster like all three times. That probably would have been better. Ah, fuck it. The good news is... We could probably take out at least one of them. There we go. And you know what? Because he's at least in stun mode, I can get a little extra. Fuck off. Okay, that's good. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> that's stupidly good. Kind of funny how they think, like, throwing all three of them at you at once is going to make this any harder. Which it does, in all fairness. But it doesn't really change it that much. And besides, the best part about her, though, is the fact that she's kind of just always gone. And on top of that, she's just actually... I mean, all three of them are basically just main mini-bosses. They don't do anything specifically different besides Mr. Minotaur guy. He's, like, the only one I can think of that... Well, I mean, yeah, the green one does some things that are different, too, but... You get what I mean. They're, they're still, for the most part, relatively basic mini-boss characters, if anything. I'm gonna keep my god hand out. Not that she's gonna spawn a demon or anything, but... You know, just for later levels, I guess. Yeah, look, she's just... I can't remember if dodging gives you meter or not. And done. They're all done. Nice. Get a big bag of gold and get the fuck out of here. What an ass. And yes, I'm talking about the green guy. Will they ever just fuck off? That reminds me, I forget which... I forget, was it Yetterman? Ah, oh, shit, I don't remember. I think it was Yetterman, but one of the, uh... Tatsunoko things I wanted to watch. I guess they made, like, a new... new one. Fairly recently or something. Alright, you know, it, it's been 40 minutes. I hate to do it, but I'll, I'll call it a part here. I do want to keep going, though, to be honest. Might I, I I know I said I was going to do, like, one more, but honestly, at this point... I just... I really like playing this game a little too much. 
I guess we'll add Head Slicer and Kung Fu Samba and just try those out, I guess. Head Slicer and Kung Fu S Samba. And then... Mm, Daisy Cutter's whatever. Damage is nice and all. I mean, to be fair, damage would be more preferred. Regardless, but still. Yeah, I'll probably try to just upload these real quick. Did I save the game already? I think I did. Oh, I'm going to save it anyway. And then I'll probably record at least maybe one more. I've recorded too much already. And man, they need to get done. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time for some more God Hand. And as always, take care, everybody.